Okay, this is Unit 5 Review Worksheet Number 1, and I'm going to start with Part A. So we can um, look at each of these terms, and I can see that I am taking the square root of 49, which I can do, and then the square root of m squared, because 2 is divisible by 2. So there's always an implied 2 if there's not a number there. So the square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. And then for my powers, I divide by the root. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so there's a power of 1. And then because I'm talk starting with an even root, even power, and I get an odd power, then I need absolute value. So then that would be 7m to the first with m being an absolute value, or I can just write it as 7 absolute value of m. Okay, so for 1c, so I want to do the root of this. So the implied root is 2, and I can take the square root of 121. I can divide 6 by 2 and 8 by 2. So the square root of 121 is 11, because 11 times 11 is 121. And then 6 divided by 2 is 3, so the power will be 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4, so the power would be 4. I started out as an even power with an even root, and I ended up with an odd, so then that would be m to the third should be an absolute value. And then n to the fourth is an even power, so that does not get an absolute value. So that would be 11 m to the third n to the fourth with m being an absolute value. So for D, I'm trying to take the cube root of 27. So that would be negative 3. And that's because negative 3 times itself 3 times is negative 27. So that's 9 times negative 3. And so negative 27. Okay, for E, I want to do the cube root of 8, m to the third. So the cube root of 8 is 2. And then for the power, I'm going to do 3 divided by 3, which is 1. And then I'm starting out with odds, an ending odd, so no absolute value. And the cube root of 8 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. OK, so for g, I have 80. And I cannot take the square root of 80, so I'm going to have to break that up. I can divide 4 by 2, but not 5 by 2, so I'm going to have to break that up. So for my factors of 80, I know 2 goes into 80 40 times. 3 does not. 4 goes into 80 20. 5 goes into 80 16. 6 does not, 7 does not, and then 8 times 10. So if I look at my factors, 16 is my largest root, perfect square, so I'm going to take 16 times 5. So 80 is 16 times 5. And then again, I can divide 4 by 2, so I don't need to break up the m's. And then 5 does not divide by 2, so I need to break up my powers of n's. So I'm going to take 1 off, which will leave 4. And then I'm going to circle what I cannot reduce to remind me that goes in my square root. So I cannot take the square root of 5, and I cannot divide 1 by 2 evenly. So both of those are going to stay in my square root. Everything else will get reduced and pulled out. So the square root of 16 is 4. Divide my power by 2 and my power by 2. And then these stay inside. And so I don't have to worry about absolute value because the only thing I had even was m and it stayed even. Okay, and then let's take a look at h. So I don't know the square root of 147, 
And I don't know the square root of m to the 3, so that doesn't divide by 2. So I'm going to have to break up my m and my 147. And 4 is divisible by 2, so I don't need to break up the n's. So 147 is 49 times 3. And then I need to take one of the m's off, leaving 2. And then n to the 4th is going to stay. So I cannot square root 3. And then 1 does not divide by 2. And then these both are divisible by 2, and I can square root 49. So the square root of 49 is 7. I can't do those. And then now on my powers, I want to divide by my root. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that would be m to the first. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then these stay under the radical. So I started with an odd power and ended odd, so I don't need absolute value. Okay, and then let's take a look at n. So in order to combine radicals, I need them to be the same, right? These both have to be the square root of uh, 2x or 8x cubed, and they're not. So then I'm just going to try to simplify. So I don't know the square root of 8, so I'm going to break that apart to 4 times 2. And then I cannot divide this power by 2, so I need to split off one of the x's. And then over here I can't do anything with that, so I'm going to leave it the same. And then I'm going to circle what I cannot take the square root of. So I can't take the square root of 2 or x to the first because I cannot divide that power evenly by 2. So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that would be a power of 1. And then these both stay in the root. And then I'm just going to copy that one down. So now that I have matching radicals, so now that these are exactly the same, then that means I can combine the coefficients, right? So I'm going to combine 2x with 3x. So I have 2x's plus 3x's, so that is 5x's all together. And then when I combine, I keep the radicals the same. Right, so for letter O, I want to simplify so I can combine these, hopefully. So I have a 4M, and I don't know the square root of 75, so I want to break it apart, and that's 25 times 3. And then I have M to the first, which I can't do anything for, I can't split that up, and then I can divide 6 by 2, so I'm going to leave that alone. So then minus 2 in squared, I don't know the square root of 48, but I know it's 16 times 3. I can't divide 3 by 2, so I want to take one of the m's off. And then I can divide 2 by 2, so I'll leave n squared. So I can't root 3, right, I don't know the square root of 3, and I can't divide 1 by 2, and then the same on this side as well. So I have 4m, and then the square root of 25 is 5, and then I'm going to divide 6 by 2, so that gives me n to the third power. And then I'm left with a 3m inside. And then same thing here, so I still have the 2n squared, and then I want to take the roots of everything I can. So the square root of 16 is 4, and m squared, 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 divided by 2 is still 1. And then I'm left with the square root of 3m. So now I have like all of these combined. And I know a lot of us go ahead and multiply and combine that as we're going, which is fine. I'm just doing it separate. And if you do it in one step, that's fantastic. So now I'm going to combine. So I'm going to combine my multiplying there, right? So I have 4 times 5 is 20. 
and then m into the third, putting it in alphabetical order, and then the square root of 3m. And the same over here. So I have 2 times 4, which is 8, and then m to the first, and then I have 1, 2, 3n, so n to the third. And so now I can go ahead and combine these because they have like radicals, and I can combine the coefficients. And so really all I'm doing is subtracting 20 and 8, and then none of the variables will change. So 20 minus 8 is 12, and then everything else stays the same. And then let's take a look at P. So here I want to multiply. So multiplying rules are different, right? Multiplying is I can just multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and put an implied 1 here. So I'm going to multiply my coefficients. So 7 times 1. And then I'm going to multiply underneath as well. So 2 times 2 is 4. And then I have 3x's times 1x. So I have 4x's I'm multiplying all together. And then I have 6 here and 1 more here, so that would make 7 altogether. And so then I want to go ahead and try to simplify, but I have um, a y to the 7th, which is not divisible by 2, so that means I need to split up this one, but both of those are fine. So I'm just going to take 1 off. And so I still have 7y's, right? But I'm just splitting them apart. And then y to the 1st is what I cannot... Uh, reduce, so I'm going to circle that. So I have the 7, and then go from left to right. So the square root of 4 is 2, and then here I can divide the power of 4 by 2, so 4 divided by 2. Can't do that, and then 6 divided by 2 is 3, so y to the third. And then the only thing left is the square root of y. And then I look here, and I can do the 7 times 2. And that would be my answer. Okay. All right, and then let's take a look at Q. So I'm looking to just multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply uh, together. So I don't have any coefficients, so that's just like having a 1 out front. And so I have just 27. And then for my x's, I have 2 here and 3 more here. So I'm multiplying 5 all together. And then here I have 1 and 5 more, so that means I have 6 multiplied all together. So I can't take the square root of 27, and I can't divide 5 by 2, but I can the 6. So then I'm going to go ahead and rewrite 27. So 27 is 9 times 3, and I know the square root of 9. And then I'm going to take one of the x's off, leaving 4. And then y to the 6 is okay, because 6 is divisible by 2. So I don't know the square root of 3 or the square root of x, so I'm going to circle those. So the square root of 9 is 3. And then divide the power by 2, so x to the second. And then divide the power by 2, so y to the third. And then I'm left with the square root of 3x to the first. Okay, and then that's... Um, from the first page of review worksheet one.